The average cost of cremations in London has gone up by a quarter in the last five years. The rise in fees is being put down to new rules about air quality. But there's also evidence that some local authorities are making a profit out of it, as Sarah Harris reports. The final journey, as a casket carrying the body of a loved one, is cremated at Mortlake Crematorium in southwest London. Cost is one of the reasons why an increasing number of people are choosing to be cremated over a traditional burial. But a BBC Freedom of Information request shows that cost has risen substantially over the last five years. Even taking into account inflation, the cost of cremating a relative has gone up by around 23%. And the cost of that cremation will be different depending on which borough in London the cremation takes place. For example, in Lambeth, you'll pay around £500. But in Hackney, you'll pay double that for a similar package. Hackney Council says it doesn't make a profit out of its cremation services and the price just covers its costs. Some of those are down to new environmental rules introduced in 2012 to cut pollutants. At Mortlake, that's meant investing in new equipment. Our fee would have gone up in the last five years and we would have had a five-year improvement programme. Two million of that would have gone on improving the cremators, so we've installed new cremators and abatement equipment that ensures that we meet with all the environment regulations. Some councils have admitted they are making a profit on their cremation services, with funds going into other services. But with such widely different prices from one borough to another in London, couldn't some councils be accused of profiting from death? Councils aren't making a profit on funeral services. It is the case in some parts of the country that funeral services, both burials and crematorium services, used to be quite heavily subsidised. And many of those councils, because of the reduction in funding that's come from central government, are having to put up their charges so they begin to recover the costs that are incurred in offering those services. Some industry insiders are calling for prices to be made standard everywhere, making it simpler and fairer for bereaved families who can just concentrate on saying goodbye. Sarah Harris. BBC London News. Still to come?